In this video, we're going to look at a medial aspect of the ankle and foot, and we're going to look at structures from the deep posterior leg compartment um, that pass posterior to the medial malleolus, and they do so in a very organized fashion, and we need to know uh, the sequence. So we're going to show you that in this diagram. So first of all, this is a medial view, and so let's label the bones that we've drawn. This is the tibia, which is articulating with the talus, sitting on top of the calcaneus. The talus also articulates with navicular, which then articulates with the medial cuneiform. Because this is the uh, medial side, this is going to be the first metatarsal. And this is for the big toe, so we have just a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx. Now there are three tendons that pass uh, behind the medial malleolus to enter into the foot. The first one, the most anterior, is going to be tibialis posterior. And so we'll identify that as T, tibialis posterior. Right next to it, we have a muscle that will enter into the foot, traveling to the other four digits, digits two through five. And this is going to be flexor digitorum longus. We'll identify that as D. Next in the sequence is actually not a tendon, but an artery. That's the posterior tibial artery, followed by the tibial nerve. And lastly, our final tendon, which will travel to the first digit, is flexor hallucis longus, or H. So we use this sequence of letters, and there's a little mnemonic that we've used for a long time. It's very sort of old-fashioned, um, and it says Tom, Dick, and not Harry, and that will help you to remember that sequence of structures.